Hey guys, this is Elliot, aka the iPad Pro, and I am going to show you how to install Jupyter, code an app, and then share it with the world in 10 minutes. So you can do this on any device, a Chromebook, a laptop, or in my case, even an iPad. So if you haven't heard of Jupyter, it's revolutionizing how people do computer programming. With Jupyter, you do your coding inside a website. So here we have Jupyter running and inside the website, I built this computer program that allows you to create graphical networks. Another great thing about Jupyter is you can share your programs with others. So how does Jupyter work and how do you install it? So Jupyter is a website and it runs in a computer. Now in other tutorials, you may have seen people download Jupyter onto their personal computer. Now the downside of doing this is that it's really hard to do and it's easy to make small little mistakes. So instead, what we're going to do is we are going to install Jupyter on a computer that's running in the cloud. Specifically, we are going to use Google Cloud. Now, the reason for this is that it is way easier to do and everything will be set up perfectly. Most importantly, cloud computing is the future of computing. The best programmers in Silicon Valley are all switching over to cloud computing right now. And the Google Cloud is way more powerful than any laptop. For example, in Jupyter, I can run a supercomputer in minutes. So now that we've given an overview of what Jupyter is, let's install it. So the first step is to go to Google Cloud and sign in. You can do this at cloud.google.com. Once you're there, click the try free button. So when you first sign in, you have a year where it won't cost you any money to use Google Cloud. It will ask for your credit card, but you won't be charged for anything. It's very safe. Once you finish signing in, you'll come to the home screen of the Google Cloud platform. From here, click the options in the upper left-hand corner. So this shows you everything that Google Cloud can do. Scroll down to the container registry and then click images. Underneath there, click the enable container registry API. This lets you download the computer that runs Jupyter. Then scroll up to Compute Engine. Under Compute Engine, click VM Instances. This is where you create your computer that will run on the cloud. Then click the Create button. So inside Create, you decide the settings for your computer. Let's name our computer My First Jupyter. Then click deploy a container image so that we can add the computer that already has Jupyter installed. To do this, type gcr.io slash pupster900 slash io. Under the advanced container options, click the three checkboxes. Now we decide the size of the hard drive on this computer. We then give the computer access to all the cloud APIs and then we allow HTTP traffic so it can host the Jupyter website. So congratulations, you just installed Jupyter. Now to see what it looks like, it will take 10 to 20 minutes for this computer to spin up. But I created a computer earlier called Created Earlier and so that already has it running. So, external IP is the name of the website where Jupyter is running. So, we click that to go to the website. You then have to remove the HTTPS at the beginning, and then you add slash tree at the end. 
So now we see the bare bones version of Jupiter. But from here, we can also set up Io. So Io makes Jupiter notebooks look a lot better. Most importantly, Io lets you share your work. You can also download Jupyter programs that other people wrote using Io. So to set up Io, click Welcome to Io, then Welcome to Io, and then from here, click Web to go to the Io web view. Then click Start to start the setup. So Io is set up now, and we can see what it looks like. So, oh, let me just uh, shut this down real fast. All right, and then when we go back to our home folder, we see that some extra folders are now there. So IO gives us a place to put our, all our application inside the apps folder. We see some default applications are already there. In this tutorial, we're going to use the IO Online app later. We have a downloads folder where you can put, download other people's apps too. There's private, which is where all the work that you don't want to share with other people go. And then the public folder is where you put all the notebooks that you do want to share with others. Inside public, we see that there are some example projects. Let's take a look at the public profile project. Once the page is loaded, click web to view the notebook in the prettier IO view. We see my profile because I'm the creator of IO. Let's use this profile as a template to create a new profile. We'll then share the new profile with everyone online. So tap the cell that has the name in it, then press enter to get to the mode where you can edit the cell. Let's change the name and then let's also change a few of the hobbies. All right, and then change a second hobby as well. Make that one machine. When you're done, you can press Shift Enter, and then you'll see the new changes. Okay, to change the picture, we have to upload a new photo to Jupiter. So we click Upload, uh, we'll use our photo library, and then we'll find a photo that looks good. That one looks good. We can rename the photo inside of Jupiter. New image. And then we can then access the new photo. Just like before, we can tap the cell that has the photo in it, press enter to go into edit mode, and then we can replace the spot that had the old photo with the name of the new photo. Uh, and that's just my new image, and I think JPEG. Perfect. So later you can edit this more, but now let's share this profile that we made. We do this using the application IO Online. So let's close down the public profile and then launch IO Online. IO Online connects you with the online Jupyter community. It's where you share your work. So IO uses the power of GitHub to do this. GitHub is what developers use to work together on code. It's owned by Microsoft. If you haven't used GitHub before, you can create an account by going to github.com and then signing up. The process is really fast. It should take just two to three minutes. Once you have a GitHub account, 
you can log in to GitHub on IO Online. After logging in, if you go to IO Newsroom, you can see the most recently published Jupyter projects. To add the public profile we created earlier, go to Manage Files, click Public, and then Add Public Profile. Now, when we update the newsroom, we see the public profile we created at the top. We can click download to view the profile we just created. So we go to downloads and the profile is there. When we click web, we then see the profile we made. So congratulations, you just shared your first Jupyter Notebook that you created with the world. So I hope you guys liked the tutorial. You can find more tutorials inside my IO blog, which is one of the apps inside of the IO apps. Also, every week I'll add new tutorial videos to YouTube. If there's a topic you'd like to see a tutorial on, please mention it in the comments below. If this was helpful, really, please subscribe to the channel or uh, give me a like. This is the first video for me, so those things make a huge difference. So this is Elliot, the iPad Pro, signing off. See you guys next week.